Hey guys, Roots Master here with your Tuesday video, and this one is going to be on taking out a heavy vehicle stronghold. Now that the event's over, um, I do have a little bit of motivation now that I have snipers and a better understanding of how tokens work to try and defeat these strongholds again. Now I still hold to saying that these strongholds are not worth the trouble. Just this one base I'm going to do now is going to cost me around 2,000 oil in repairs. And if you get a silver crate, you get three critical cards for two of your heavy vehicles. And the heavy vehicles I have unlocked, the uh, Rhino and Abrams, I already have maxed out on crit cards pretty much. I have well over 1,000 crit cards for, for both of them. And they're both level 5+. plus. So I'm going to get absolutely nothing out of this except the 32,000 metal, which you can get much faster and at much less cost if you just click through PvP bases until you find one to destroy, and those, if you get a silver crate, which you normally do, you're going to get around 14 critical cards, plus the chance at equipment, and, uh, you know, to me, it these bases are not going to be worth it, but I'm going to go through and show y'all how to do them, and maybe you can build on my strategies and make it better, because like I said, this one is going to be a 2,000 oil repair from what I've seen. Um, it may be a little worse this time, because I am going to be talking through it, and that always makes me worse. But, I mean, so you guys can, may be able to refine my tactics a little bit. Okay, we're going with an all-helicopter platoon, just like we did on the old bases. The only thing that's changed to make this worse, well, there's actually three things that have, four things that have changed. So, in the previous base, the only things that could attack your helicopters was a machine gun turret here, and the infantry that spawned out of here, and a couple other little things here and there. They added three new machine gun turrets, and a salvo turret. So, our strategy is going to be to spawn in here, like normal, uh, over here on the right spawn pad, and attack that machine gun turret right off the bat. We're going to sit there and wait for the infantry to spawn and come to us. Then we're going to go around the left side here and hit that salvo turret first. Well, actually, we're going to go through the salvo turret and hit that machine gun turret, but we're going the way of the salvo turret first, and that's where we're really going to take most of our damage. But let's hop in right here. And these are only level 4 helicopters. Tis my own fault that they are so low. I need to focus on getting them higher. And let me turn that down, because that's really loud, at least for me. Okay, so if you look up here, we can see the infantry is already spawning out. It does spawn very quickly, so it's not like we're going to have to sit and waste a lot of time waiting for infantry to spawn. Now, I did try attacking this base with a different composition with a light vehicle, um, an S-13 to be exact, and the concept I had with that was I was going to try and go around counterclockwise, but that didn't work out. There's no real way to get your S-13 around to the salvo turret. You just have to absorb the damage with your helicopter. It's just one of those things. Okay, we're just going to try and put these guys in a line and then just fly them in. Hopefully they won't get hit quite as much. Alright, so there's there you go. We flew in straight. We flew straight in to attack those... Um, to attack that machine gun tour because once we're in range of that salvo, it can't hurt us anymore. Now we have these Humvees, and you're gonna need to watch your um, pathfinding on your helicopters, and it's not the helicopter's fault. The ba This base just has a couple weird little turns and corners that if you're not paying attention, your helicopters can jut out into enemy fire if you're not paying close enough attention. So, this is about the ex well, no, it's not the extent of the damage, actually, because there's a lot of infantry over here accompanying this machine gun turret and Humvees. So, we're going to come in, 
We're going to sustain a lot of damage. It's just one of those things that's going to happen. And we're just going to turn AI on and let these guys do their thing. Alright, here we go. This may actually be a little bit better of an attack than the one I did last time. It may be under 2,000 oil for the repair. But again, even if it's over 1,500 oil, it's just not worth the repetitive critical cards and the 32,000 metal that you get from... Okay, guys, y'all can stop attacking them. That's pointless. Just destroy these things and get your 100%. Come on. Alright, there we go. Um, now, you do have a chance of getting a gold crate, and a gold crate will give you more critical cards, and it will give you five gold as well, but that's not really worth it. So here we go. You get your silver crate, which gives you three critical cards of your two units, which for me are the Rhino and the Abrams, and I don't need them. So this was a complete waste for me. I got 32,000 metal, but I could have gotten that in far less time farming PvP bases with said helicopter platoon. I mean, if I wanted to be a real jerk about it, I would have clicked through until I found easy targets with my helicopter platoon and wrecked that PvP base. But I don't do that exclusively, because since I do have the snipers, I do enjoy using my new uh, platoon build, which is Abrams, S13s, and two snipers. So let's see what that repair cost is for this attack. Okay, that actually wasn't all that bad. It's a thousand oil, so I well, okay, it's twelve hundred oil. I have a maximum capacity of twelve thousand oil, so I could get in um, not a lot. I could get in ten attacks. I could do ten attacks with one fully recharged oil bar, giving me three hundred and twenty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Had a brain fart there. Three hundred and twenty thousand metal. That's just not a good payout, especially since I'm not getting critical cards I need. I'm only focusing on that metal. That metal is not a good enough payout. I can get far more metal farming PvP bases, but I hope y'all like this one. Uh, let's see what the stronghold is tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a light vehicle stronghold. Um, I can use some critical cards for some of my light vehicles, so I'm definitely going to try and attack these light vehicle bases. So expect to see a very heavy vehicle heavy platoon, a very tank heavy platoon, in my video tomorrow for that stronghold. Until then, y'all have a wonderful day.